Today, on the 13th of October 2024, at 7 a.m. Central Time, Starship was ready to launch for the fifth time. The countdown proceeded smoothly, without any holds, and at liftoff, all 33 Raptor engines ignited successfully. Already, the liftoff was visually really impressive, with the rising sun in the background. Two minutes into flight, from the camera pointing down the booster, green and blue exhaust gases could be observed. At minute 2.35, hot staging was successfully performed, with the engines cutting off as planned. Also, the boost Back burn and the boost back shutdown were performed without any issues. At the same time, all six engines of Starship were ignited. On the ground, a new tracking camera was installed, which captured the complete descent of the booster back to Earth. Also, one could see the aerodynamic interaction with the surrounding air. At 4 minutes and 40 seconds, there was an object visible extremely close to the booster. This was probably the hot stage nearing. Fortunately, it didn't intercept with the booster. During flight, it was checked if the tower is ready for the catch attempt and also the booster data was analyzed to see if there were any issues which could lead to a catch failure. At minute 510, it was finally confirmed that the signal had been sent to the booster to go onto the trajectory back to the launch tower. From the view from the ground camera, one could see that the engine side of the booster was blowing red hot. Then, at 1 km height and with a velocity of 1030 km per hour, the 13 center engines were ignited for the catch attempt. During the startup, a small fire near the engines appeared. Also, the booster seemed to come in a bit too fast. But in the end, the booster touched down with a velocity of only 1 km per hour. So, a perfectly soft landing. This was really a historic moment. SpaceX catched a massive booster on the first try. This is a major success for SpaceX. Now, the booster can be inspected for any issues and necessary changes for the next flight can be made. Also the catch tower is completely intact, so it's basically ready for the next launch. The small fire mentioned in the beginning was extinguished fairly quickly and the booster was safely vented. At the same time Starship was successfully inserted into its orbit and entered a 30 minute coasting phase. Then at 40 minutes the re-entering phase started. In the last flight, flight 4, in this phase one of the flaps melted through the extreme heating. For this flight, SpaceX made the necessary adjustments to prevent that. At 46 minutes, the first appearance of plasma was seen. Again, a nice color play could be observed with pink and green flames. The upgraded heat shielding proved effective as no immediate damage was seen. But later at 59 minutes and in 51 km height, Starship slowed faster down through the thicker atmosphere. The higher drag caused one flap to melt slightly again. While this affected the flight trajectory slightly, it didn't have any major impact. Then the flip maneuver was initiated at about 1 km height and with a speed of 340 km per hour. The three sea level engines ignited and Starship made a somewhat soft splashdown on the water, which was also visible in the last frames. Then the stream switched over to a nearby camera, which was installed in a flotation device. The camera captured how Starship tipped over and exploded. The camera was installed near the expected touchdown location. Therefore, the landing was really close to the intended target. After this major success, I believe that Starship's next launch will be in the near future and likely another success. With the booster caught and ready for inspection, SpaceX can make further improvements to the next booster, pushing the technology even further. Subscribe for more space updates.